the groove hell yeah yeah that's uh, that's nice that's nice yeah, come on man Yo, I'm Henrik Gerardo, a musician, and today we are gonna react to the music of Kevin Penkin. Kevin Penkin is an Australian composer that has made the OSTs of animes such as Shield Hero, Tower of God, and Made in Abyss. Okay, I'm ready, I have my guitar, I have myself, and I have YouTube and a microphone. So let's start off with Shield Hero. Melty. This is some interesting piano play, I can tell you that much. Nice piano arpeggio, and I liked and I like the fact that it's being played in the higher register of the piano. Damn, I don't remember hearing this in the anime, but this kind of slaps. It's really creative. I like the kind of distorted uh, snares and uh, synth uh, uh, bass drum. I might be tripping, but I feel like the piano is being delayed. Ooh, that's a nasty chord. Ooh! Holy shit, this is really, really good. Really creative. I didn't think he would bring out the strings for this one. And very cool, uh, kind of spooky, bell-sounding synths. Really, really nice. That was... Damn, that was better than I thought. Damn. This is just a classic way of writing kind of cute music. Just use a shit ton of pizzicato. That's how you write something cute like this. I'm gonna see if I can find the most popular OSTs. I want to listen to the music that is already popular. Because I feel like that's where, that's the music that people would want me to react to, I guess. Sounds like something that would um, be, be played in like Genshin Impact or something. Sounds like just your regular kind of anime, video game, boss theme. This was definitely not what I was expecting. A saxophone out of nowhere? Oh, I remember this track! Yes, this is a great melody! So the melody is being played here, on the piano, and then it's gonna switch to the saxophone. The groove! Hell yeah! It sounds like a fusion between like genres. Cause it sounds like something out of a video game or anime. Just classic like video game stuff. But now it has like this jazz uh, influence to it because of the saxophone. Oh, the build-up, though! Damn! I love that melody. And kind of the way the, the, the bass is being played, or how the groove is. So it's played in F major. This is a classic, like, pop uh, progression. We hear it all the time in pop. So, four, five, six, to the one. But the way it's played here, really, just... Ugh. I don't know, I'm a sucker for chord progressions that start on the 4 chord. It's, oh, it's so good. Do you hear how the rhythm of the bass really adds to that intensity vibe of the whole track? So it's not like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not that. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Even though the bass line is quite simple, it just gives us that jazzy vibe. I wanna play it. I wanna I, I wanna learn the melody too, because this is great. Yeah! 
One way to add some kind of spookiness or one way to make sure you add color to your track is by using one of my favorite intervals, which is the half step interval, I guess. So that means he loops this little riff and it really gives the track that flavor of something's happening. And that's because the B flat and the A. Is the beat about to drop? Give me, give me the beat drop. I'm waiting for it. I love when bass utilizes bends or kind of pitch bends. Like this. Do you hear it? A lot of things going on here that I like. The chromatic bass like walk down. Classic. Oh shit, I didn't see you there. Hey, if you like these kinds of songs, don't forget to subscribe because I will be making more of these kind of songs. Starts off with the choir. It's not it's not gonna continue with the percussion. Now he brings it back. No Is that a sus to a major resolution? Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a sus to major resolution. I have heard that resolution so many times before that I'm like, yes, I know that. I know that sound. That kind of chord progression or interval or whatever you use this kind of chord progression when you really want to end a song on a specific key. You're really selling the idea that we are here in D major. Yeah, one thing I noticed around right here is that the bass notes, the bass notes switch so fast that you never really get a feeling about where the track is going. It feels like it's going somewhere, but I cannot figure it out because the bass is jumping all over the place. But I, do, I don't know the context when this plays, so I, it, it can be very fitting for the context of the scene. Is it a violin? I could be tripping. I could pick up my violin. The vibrato on the violin is also very, very nice. Do you hear that dynamic? Slowly rising in its velocity. Is it Sol G? Maybe it's Sol G. Using pitch bends on the violin is such a great way to give off that tropical exotic vibe. That is not how uh, it was played in the OST, but that's how I did it. So yeah, do you hear this? Listen, listen. So he's gonna add reverb to the last like seconds of the violin playing. Wait, there. And the reason why you would do that is to kind of emphasize that, okay, we're moving on to something else. This good. I love sustained. Uh, I love great sustained uh, string harmonies. This is great. And that kind of like distorted vocal thingy, I don't know what the hell that is. I feel like I have heard that sound like a million times in like video games. It gives me like sonic vibes for some reason, I don't know why. Okay. We got that quartet sound going on. String quartet. Damn, these are some weird sounding bells. I have no words at the moment. Oh, nice percussions. 
Oh! Sounds something like Hans Zimmer would write. This sounds very much Hans Zimmer esque. I, I like this, sounds something like out of Inception. Holy shit! That's a disgusting bass synth. Like a chainsaw, like, yeah, a chainsaw bass. Damn, this slaps! F hell, that was amazing! Jeez! That was that was that was really really good. I love the intro chords here. They're so colorful. Nice. This is a great way to make great like chord progressions if you don't know where you want to take your track or the song, I guess. Just change one note at a time. Now he goes, that's one note that changes the chord. Now he mo removes this and goes to. And now instead of changing the bass or the lowest note, he changes the highest note. God, this song is so good. Shit. Helvete. Fasen vad bra den här. And, and the, the vocal harmonies here. The singer is great, by the way. But I love how breathy the falsetto is uh, in the singing. And that vibrato, it's like he has power, but it also very, it's also very breathy. This chord in particular is insane. He plays this uh, E to stay on the E minor, and then. The top note here goes one semitone down, so it goes. That last chord right there, even though there are two notes that are being changed, both of the notes only moved one semitone down. If you want to make great sounding chord progressions and harmonies, try to minimize the movement or how much gap there is between one chord and the other. Oh shit, that's very interesting. So, he, he, in the beginning he played this arpeggio with a piano and now he's... He lets a, like a music box play it. So now that the piano is free to be used for something else, he's using the piano for something else. To add other like harmonies on top. Holy shit, that was nice as hell. Oh, that chord is so nice. F major 7 at 11, I think. No, 13, 13, 13. I think why I like this so much is because that chord really reminds me of the title theme from Ocarina of Time, which has like kind of the same chord. Yes. And the melody is great as well. This chord movement right here is so good. Listen to this. Oh, oof, such a good chord progression. 
Oh, and then this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Oh my god, it's oh, I cannot express how good that is. Holy shit. When the high strings kick in, the violins here. It's magical, I cannot express how good this is. And this wa walk down. Everything about this song is so good. Like, oh! Cannot give, I cannot get over how good this song is. Or this track, or OST, whatever. It's insane, insane. You know what guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you had a really really great time here. I had a blast reacting and analyzing some music, so if you want some other music to be analyzed, don't forget to leave a comment about what you want me to react to, I guess. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye!